are no shortage of theories out there in the Disney universe, and today we are looking at just a few as they relate to The Little Mermaid. This classic tale is well known, but despite its popularity, there could be some dark, eerie, or just downright disturbing backstories hidden in the movies. Let's waste no time and dive right under the sea as we count down the top 10 dark Little Mermaid Disney theories that will ruin your childhood. Guys, what's your favorite Little Mermaid movie? Mine is The Little Mermaid 2. Okay, that's my personal favorite from my childhood. Let me know down below. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the Peter Pan connection. This is a theory that states that Captain Hook of the Peter Pan world is actually responsible for the death of Ariel's mother. It isn't until the 2008 film, The Little Mermaid Ariel's Beginning, where we heard about Ariel's mother's death. In the film, King Triton explains that her mother, Queen Athena, met her demise at the hands of horrible pirates. Definitely makes a lot more sense as to why the man is so strict about the whole human thing. But fans have spotted something in the Peter Pan movie that drives this theory home even more. In Peter Pan, we see an unnamed but red-headed mermaid, and some believe that the signature red hair just shows that she must have been Ariel's mom. This, coupled with how scared the mermaids that Peter makes friends with in Neverland are of Captain Hook, we can easily put two and two together and see that it's entirely possible that their fear stems from him having taken the life of their queen. In our number nine spot today, we have have the siren song. Of course, Ariel and Prince Eric have that sort of love at first sight romance that is all too common for Disney movies, but some think that there may be something sinister lurking behind this fast romance. One Little Mermaid theory suggests that Ursula wants Ariel's voice so badly because she knows it holds real magical properties. Taking it back to the legends of long ago, sirens in mythology took many forms, but in some of the later mythology, they began to sound extremely extremely mermaid-like. One thing that didn't change about these creatures, however, is that they had these voices that drew even the best of men into their traps. Some believe that perhaps Ariel is, or at least is modeled after these creatures. This entire theory could possibly explain why Eric was so ready to marry Vanessa so soon after meeting her, because he's been bewitched by her voice. In our number eight spot today, we have the second choice. This is a theory that really goes well with the last one. This theory, however, suggests that Ariel isn't Eric's first choice and that he is actually just settling for her. Basically, people believe that Eric is really just looking for the woman who belongs to the voice he heard and possibly became enchanted with, should it actually hold some sort of magical abilities like we just discussed. In getting with Ariel initially, especially when we see him nearly kiss her on the lagoon, he is just kind of settling for her as a second choice, not knowing that she has the voice he's looking for. This also makes sense as to why he is so intrigued by Vanessa, because she has the voice he's been looking for, and he's totally willing to ditch Ariel for it. He is continually searching for the voice he heard, but may have just been settling for Ariel a second best. In our number seven spot today, we have Ariel's illness. This is a Little Mermaid theory that comes from the Reddit user 7thLTR, and they wrote, quote, Ariel is a schizophrenic. The voices in her head are Flounder and Sebastian. They tell her that the world is better inside her head under the sea. She longs to be normal or a part of that world. Her father, Trident, is overprotective of her because of her schizophrenia. Ursula is really Ariel's doctor. She gives Ariel medicine to stop the voices in her head, gives her legs, but because she has been living in her own world, she doesn't know how to communicate with normal people. She can't talk. Eric is really a nurse that she becomes obsessed with. Ariel develops the idea that Ursula is trying to steal Eric from her when Ursula transforms herself into a beautiful woman to to try and lure Eric away from Ariel. Therefore, she stops taking her medicine, so she goes back into her own world. Ariel goes back into the ocean in the movie. Eric then tells her otherwise, so she begins treatment again and learns how to live in the real world with the help of Eric. She gets her legs and her voice, and she marries him, and they live happily ever after. I mean, this is an absolutely wild theory, but it does have some people convinced. What do you think? In our number six spot today, we have Washed Ashore. This is another theory that was posted to Reddit and is definitely one of the creepiest on this list. Basically, this theory suggests that everything is quote unquote normal up until Ariel meets Ursula. As we all well know, Ariel asks for legs, but Ursula says it's something she can't do. Ariel wants them so badly, so she begs and pleads for so long and so desperately that eventually Ursula gives in to give her what she wants. Ursula splits Ariel's fin in two and 
sends her up to the surface of the ocean. Here's where things get dark in this theory though. When I say she cuts her fin in two, I mean literally, she cuts her fin to mimic legs. After being sent up to the surface, Ariel is washed ashore, but by the time she makes it to the beach, she's already lost too much blood. As Eric walks along the beach, he finds her barely awake. At this point, in the haze of her dying state, Ariel sees Eric and thinks she has finally met her prince on land. What continues on in the movie is all made up in Ariel's mind as she passes away, but in reality, Eric just left her on the beach alone. Yeah. Definitely a pretty dark theory, that's for sure. In our number five spot today, we have the true form. Vanessa in The Little Mermaid is of course the dark haired human form that Ursula takes in order to steal Prince Eric from Ariel. But some think that this disguise is revealing something more than what may meet the eye. People especially think this because I mean, why would she create an entirely new human form and think of a new person instead of just recreating what Ariel already looks like in order to steal her man? This is why some people suspect that perhaps Vanessa is actually Ursula's true form. That Ursula is actually a mermaid, but she appears as this octopus creature because it's actually a punishment from a crime in her past. This also could explain why King Triton hates her so much, as well as why she lives as a societal outcast. Maybe she did something horrible and was banished from the kingdom and made to live life as a different creature. In our number four spot today, we have The Wreck. So there are, of course, a ton of Disney universe theories as to how different movies could be linked together. I mean, we started off with the Peter Pan connection, and I never get tired of reading all of the creative theories people have come up with or the Easter eggs people have found that prove the connections, but this is one I definitely never thought of. In The Little Mermaid, we see Ariel explore a shipwreck close to the beginning. I mean, it's one of the most iconic scenes in the movie. A giant shark appears and it threatens both Ariel and Flounder's lives. It truly was a terrifying moment for six year olds everywhere, but this theory adds an eerie layer to the movie scene. Some believe that the ship in the wreck is the one that once belonged to Anna and Elsa from Frozen's parents. We now know that they unfortunately passed in the beginning of the first Frozen movie, but we don't know a lot about how, except for that it was on a ship, which has led people to this definitely compelling theory. In our number three spot today, we have the sister connection. Ever wondered why Ariel and her six sisters all look different from one another? Well, some believe that this difference in appearance points to a hidden storyline where all of the sisters actually have different mothers. Yeah, King Triton was getting pretty busy under the sea. People who believe this theory speculate that King Triton was busy with a bunch of different women in order to spread his bloodline as far as possible. Along with this theory is the suggestion that Ariel is the king's favorite, but not everyone can agree why. Some believe that she is her dad's favorite because of the fact that he and Ariel's mom are still together, but if you agree with the Captain Hook theory, we know this is untrue. That is why some people have speculated that perhaps Ariel is the favorite favorite because her mother met such a violent and untimely death and the king wants to protect her even further. In our number two spot today, we have overprotected. This theory has to do more with our favorite best buddy Flounder than it does Ariel, and it is said that this theory originated on Christine Morehouse blogspot where they claimed that they knew why Flounder was such a worry wart and was so caring for his friend Ariel. Basically, they suggested that he was over nurtured as a child. Because of this caring background, he developed a certain bond with his mother and once she left, it caused him to struggle a bit in his adult life. This over nurturing led to him becoming fearful of his surroundings. He's overly cautious and worried about not only himself, but those that he loves. I mean, I never really thought of Flounder as potentially having had a harmful childhood, but those who speculate on these kinds of theories and such never miss anything. In our number one spot today, we have the stormy waters. In the beginning of the Little Mermaid movie, we see Prince Eric's royal ship run into a storm that truly almost costs him his life. It's a very stressful aspect of the movie. I mean, it's the thing that almost makes this famous love story not happen. But while this moment is already dark, some think that there might be something even more sinister going on. Some fans think that King Triton actually caused the storm on purpose. People believe that he got so fed up with Ariel visiting the surface and obsessing over humans that he wanted to do something about it and take away the temptation. So alas, he started a storm and tried to cause a shipwreck. I mean, King Triton is harsh, but he couldn't be willing to risk all of those sailors' lives. 
right? All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. Let me know what you think of all of these little mermaid theories and uh, drop any more that I might have missed down below, all right? I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you all very soon, I'm sure. Goodbye.